Hello everyone, I'm Vinod and welcome to Career Bolt. I've published a couple of videos earlier which got a very good response from the audience. I published videos on the folks who won the International Math Olympiad and people who have topped the IIT JE exam over the past many decades. There have been thousands of views on each one of the videos. So today I'm going to jump into the topic of people who have won the International Physics Olympiad and we will check out the careers of where they've ended up. Uh, and I'm gonna focus on this as a two part video. The first part is gonna focus on students from 2011 to the present. And we'll have one more video later, which is focuses on people from 2000 to 2010. So let's jump in straight into the video. So this is part one of the video and we're gonna begin in 2011. So the person who got the physics gold medal in the Olympiad, physics Olympiad was uh, Sai Kiran, uh, Burle Sai Kiran. And uh, if you look at his profile, it's super interesting. So right now, Sai Kiran works uh, in machine learning and he works in a company called Stripe in the San Francisco Bay Area uh, in the Silicon Valley region. And if you look at his profile, you see that he went on for a, to do a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering and then went on to do the a master's degree in uh, the same uh, subject from the University of Illinois Urbana Champaign. And since then, he has been working in a couple of places. He has been working in Roku for a couple of years. He's worked in Script D for a couple of years. And then he has worked in Stripe for a couple of years. So he has experience with respect to like mathematical fraud detection, recommender systems, machine learning, and so on. And I think it's very interesting that people with a physics degree do pursue computer science careers and are able to do a very good job in terms of uh, coming to the workplace and being able to add value. 2011 was also another interesting year because there's one more topper uh, called Shubham Mehta, who again graduated from, no surprises, IIT Bombay. So Shubham did his bachelor's in computer science. He graduated in 2015. So currently, Shubham is based in Canada. He works in the Amazon Web Services uh, company. He works as senior product manager. But if you look at his uh, basic experience, you can see that he worked as a product manager in uh, Samsung Electronics. And I believe he was one of the toppers in the IIT JE exam because of which uh, he was just recruited from Samsung. I think I did mention this in a video earlier that if you want to get into Samsung Electronics in Korea, you basically need to top the JE exam, be in the top few ranks, and uh, you probably also need a high grade point average. So if you have very good grade point average, in this case, Shubham had a 9.2 grade point average. It's no surprise he got into Samsung. So after that, he has worked in other companies like Skills. Uh, he's After working in Suwon in Korea for a couple of years in Samsung Electronics, he has then worked as a product manager in a company called Skills in Canada. And then he is also currently working in Amazon Web Services as a senior product manager. Interesting that with just an um, undergrad degree and some work experience reached this position. So again, the thing is that if you go to work in companies in Korea, it's just not easy to come to the US because of H1B problems. That's why people prefer to sometimes work in Canada and then try to get a foothold in other MNC companies like Amazon which could send them back to the U.S. on certain projects. So an easy way to enter the U.S. is work outside and then get to the U.S. as you work on you work with U.S. MNCs. 2011 also had one more person who was uh, the gold medalist in the physics uh, Olympiad, and that's Sumega Garg. So currently, Sumega works as a postdoctoral scholar uh, at Stanford University in the computer science department. If you look at her profile, she has an undergrad degree from IIT Delhi. And then she went on to do a PhD in computer science at Princeton University. She worked as a postdoc at Harvard for some time. Now she works as a postdoc at Stanford. And again, looks like uh, once she finishes her postdoc positions after a couple of years in, in fall of 2023, she has an offer to join Rutgers University as an assistant professor. So something you can see from what I'm talking about is that people tend to study at Ivy League universities in the top universities do a postdoc at the best of universities, but academic jobs is very limited. It's not easy to get into academia. You need multiple years of postdoc experience. And then you probably join, uh, again, Rutgers, which I believe is a really good university, maybe not top-notch, but still 
Um, again, these are the positions you end up at. You study at Stanford, you study at MIT, you probably get a job uh, in academia in uh, another university, probably ranked between the 20th to 50th ranks in the world rankings, and that's Rutgers, and that's where Sumega is joining. 2012, Rahul Trivedi was the physics gold medalist. And when you look at his profile, he has a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from IIT Delhi. And uh, since then, he got his PhD in electrical engineering from Stanford University. And he's also been a postdoc, postdoctoral scholar at the Max Planck Institute of uh, Quantum Optics. He was uh, there in uh, working there for some time, and then he looks like he's probably pursuing a academic career. So you need multiple years of postdoc experience before you get into an um, assistant professor job in a U.S. university. So let's see where he ends up. So uh, he finished his undergrad in 2016. The thumb rule is that it takes you probably around maybe 10 years after finishing your undergrad to get into an academic position. And uh, it's for Rahul, it's probably... Uh, just two years since he finished his uh, PhD. So he will have to wait for a couple of years to get academic jobs. So let's see where his career heads towards. But it's fantastic to see that people with a physics um, gold medal, um, go to IIT, then they pursue their degrees, are able to get into the best of universities across the world. Let's look in 2013, the the gold medalist was Prafulla Dariwal. So Prafulla currently works in a company called OpenAI in San Francisco, which is again the Bay Area. And Prafulla has a very interesting profile. He did not go to IIT, but instead went to MIT to do his uh, bachelor's in computer science. So after that, he's basically worked um, uh, in, as an intern in a bunch of companies like Pinterest and D. E. Shaw. After that, he's uh, been working in OpenAI and it's a company he's been working as a research scientist for close to six years. So that's his profile. Two thousand fourteen was Ankit Bajpai. Now you can, if you compare with my earlier video, you can clearly see that there are a lot more winners of the Physics Olympiad from India compared to the Math Olympiad, which basically speaks to the fact that Indians tend to be very good in physics. And that reflects in terms of uh, the, the number of gold medals they get. So already I've talked about so many people with a gold medal in just between 2010 to 2014. So Ankit finishes his undergrad in IIT Delhi from computer science. And then he kind of works as a visiting researcher, as a research fellow at MIT for some time. He works in uh, the of Southern California for some time. And after that, he gets into the co-founder mentality in terms of he starts a company in Delhi and then he starts another company called Line Chat. He, so he's based out of Bangalore right now. And he's an entrepreneur. So is, um, Ankit is probably among the very, very few people across the IIT, JE, top list and also the Math Olympiad winners and the Physics Olympiad winners in terms of he has chosen not to pursue an academic career, not to do a master's or a PhD, but instead go on to be an entrepreneur, which is absolutely amazing. And we need more people like Ankit stepping in. And Line Chat seems to be backed by a lot of top-notch venture capital companies. And that's fantastic. And let's see where this goes. But again, it's so interesting to see that um, Ankit basically goes on, spends some time in US University, just doing a little bit of research for a couple of months, and then decides to get into the startup world. 2014 is Chitrang Modia. So Chitrang Modia was also the IIT topper for his year. And uh, he joins IIT Bombay, then drops, joins MIT, finishes up his bachelor's degree. Since then, he has been doing his PhD. And uh, since he's doing his PhD in probably physics, what happens is it takes a long time. So uh, again, you can see that he's probably finished around five years in his current degree. And let's see where things are. And I'm hoping that he gets on to maybe doing a postdoc position once he does his PhD and then gets to academia. So Dev Aditya is an interesting person. He won the gold medal in the Physics Olympiad twice in 2016 and 2017. So right now he's based out of uh, Massachusetts. So he's finished his undergrad degree in MIT in BS in physics. 
and he stuck to physics, which is great. He has not shifted to computer science. He has probably chosen to follow his passion. And then you can see that he's currently working as an undergraduate researcher. Maybe he's going to pursue his academic career by going on for a PhD, but let's see, he's not updated his LinkedIn profile. So you've got to wait and see where this goes. 2016 was also Gautam Amritya. And Gautam is a person who has again, uh, uh, he's done his studies in Asia, though not at the IITs. So he's gone to the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, done his undergrad in physics and mathematics. And then he's done his uh, masters from the same university in physics. And he's also finished up, he's kind of verge of finishing up his PhD in physics, which is fantastic. So the interesting thing is that after 2019, he stays around for around two years, does his master's, and probably understood that if he sticks around for three more years, he's going to get his PhD. So it makes a lot of sense for him in terms of spending five years getting a master's and a PhD. And he's also working as a visiting researcher at Oxford at the same time. So it's a very interesting profile. And uh, he's among the few people who have not gone to IITs or not gone to the US universities for the undergrad degree, but still has managed to pursue a very interesting career. So hats off to Gautam. 2016 was one more person, Pri Shah. So Pri is a person who did his undergrad in IIT Bombay in computer science, finishes up in 2020. He actually works for a couple of years. He works in tower research in um, Haryana, for two months, then he works in a securities company called AlphaGrep. He works there for another nine months. So takes a small break after he did his undergrad. And this is something I really recommend that people not just study one degree after the other, but maybe pause a little, do something different, get some industry experience, save up some money, uh, have some savings before you go on for your master's degree. So uh, Pri also has a Silver Institute silver medal and uh, has decided to do a master's in computer science. Um, he's on the verge of doing his uh, Stanford degree right now. So that's off to Pri and let's see where uh, the Stanford degree takes him. Lei Jane is one more person who has a dual gold medal in the physics Olympiad. So he's a person who also has an undergrad degree from MIT and clearly you can sense that if you win the physics Olympiad, it's pretty easy for you to get into MIT because I believe they prioritize people who get a gold medal in either the math Olympiad or the physics Olympiad. So he has finished up his undergrad degree in uh, 2022. Uh, so he's currently working as a research intern in a bunch of securities finance companies. He's worked at Citadel, which is a top-notch finance company. Uh, he's worked in Two Sigma. He's currently working on a long-term internship. So typically, if you want to get into these finance companies in New York, uh, the Wall Street, you begin as an intern and as, as you do really good work, you get absorbed as a full-time employee. So let's see where's, uh, where Liz's journey takes him. 2017 is Ameya. Ameya Patwardhan is again a person who actually chooses not to join IITs but to join the IAS, the Indian Institute of Science, to, a, to do a bachelor's degree, which is fantastic because this person is again a person who has bucked the trend by not going to IITs but going to IASC. And uh, first, the person has uh, graduated within four years and joined the University of Illinois Urbana Champaign to do a PhD in physics. Absolutely fantastic. And let's see where Amaya's career also heads in the future. After a PhD, I would assume that this person does a postdoc for a couple of years and enters academia. Uh, and with a physics degree, uh, again, job opportunities tend to be a little limited compared to computer science PhDs. Um, and also the academic positions after doing a PhD, also a little bit limited because most PhD programs in physics have much lesser number of people compared to say computer science. So lesser students means lesser faculty members and less open positions for people trying to enter the academic sector. 2017 was also one more person, Ananye, who did his, uh, who goes on to do a bachelor's in computer science uh, and clearly he's, uh, Currently a PhD student at Carnegie Mellon University. He's worked in Microsoft for four months again. So let's see where his career to takes him. So just looking at this name, he's worked with the Professor Mawson uh, in uh, AI. Uh, so I believe Mawson was also some sort of a person who was among the IIT toppers in the past. Uh, this name kind of rings a bell. 
So let's see where Ananya's career takes him after he finishes his undergrad and uh, after he finishes a PhD from Carnegie Mellon University. And uh, looks like Carnegie Mellon is a great place if you want to work on computer science. And it's one of the top notch spaces where you can work on robotics and computer science and AI and so on. So kudos. 2018, also at Bhaskar winning the gold medal. And uh, after winning the gold medal in the Physics Olympiad, Bhaskar goes on IIT Bombay, has a bachelor's in computer science, and looks like he's, uh, I'm not sure where he is right now. He's probably doing some research work at University of California, San Diego, or he's probably working in Stanford, but he's probably based out of California, and we'll see his LinkedIn profile uh, in the future, and that will reveal where he's probably going to pursue his PhD. Looks like that's where Bhaskar is headed towards, based on what we're seeing here. 2018 and 19 was Nishant who was a topper. So Nishant clearly, if you're winning dual gold medals in the Physics Olympiad, uh, it's a no-brainer that MIT is going to probably give you a full scholarship. So Nishant has gone to, uh, he's gone to IIT Bombay, does a year, he has a full GPA of 10 out of 10, which is absolutely fantastic. And then he goes on to MIT and he's finishing up his uh, undergrad degree from there in computer science and engineering. I'm a little surprised that he's not pursuing physics as a major probably pursuing that as a minor. So that's interesting, which means that if you have an undergrad degree in computer science, you're probably going to choose a tech company to work in, or you're going to choose a finance company. And uh, looks like uh, he's participated in um, working as an intern researcher at a company called Fiverr's LLC. It seems to be more of a finance-based company where he's doing mock trading, where he's doing algorithmic testing, uh, and he's developing quantitative models. So again, they need a lot of brain power to run these companies and um, kudos uh, in terms of him being able to utilize his mathematical skills, if not his physics skills in, a, in companies where he can really build fantastic models. And these companies pay very well. In fact, I just read recently that a company called Jane Street paid um, a lot of money for students from IIT Kanpur, Delhi and Bombay. So that again, that just means that finance companies pay a lot more than even tech companies when it comes down to grad students. And let's see where Nishant's career goes forward. Pavan is one more topper uh, in the Physics Olympiad in 2018. And he too goes on to do a bachelor's in computer science after studying at IIT Bombay for a year. So it looks like both Pavan and Nishant belong to this with one batch after the other, but again, they go study at IIT Bombay for a year and then go on to MIT, do a bachelor's in computer science. Pawan has also done um, one year masters in computer science from MIT, and looks like uh, he has done a soft. He has been an intern at Facebook for three months, and he's currently a quantitative strategist at Siskena. It's uh, again probably a finance company. He's uh, working out there, so that's interesting. So again, a lot of people tend to go to tech or work in finance after a bachelor's from MIT or Stanford and so on. 2018, Siddharth Tiwari was a gold medalist, and Siddharth is, is um, studying at IIT Bombay, and he's uh, doing an undergrad in engineering physics. So that's interesting. So um, he's among the few people who decided not to do a bachelor's in computer science from IIT Bombay, but decided to do a uh, bachelor's in engineering physics. Engineering physics is fantastic. He probably is getting the best of both worlds, his quantitative skills and physics. But the only thing is that a lot of people don't do this because people much lower in terms of IIT ranks tend to choose engineering physics. And people are so obsessed about JE ranks when they choose the specializations. And I think Siddharth is probably more wiser than other students and he's choosing it out of his own interest and choosing what matters to him rather than blindly follow what other seniors have done in the past. So kudos to Siddharth. I hope he does really well in the future and I hope he does pursue research in theoretical physics. 2019, um, Archit, who was a topper, is uh, a rank three in the IIT advanced exam. And uh, he goes on to IIT Delhi, and he's currently doing a bachelor's in computer science. And uh, he's worked at Samsung R&D in, in Bangalore, which is interesting because I used to recruit people at Samsung R&D for Korea, Bangalore, and Delhi at one time. And he's also worked with the intern at Jane Street, which pays a lot of money for their Hong Kong office, I believe. So let's see where Ajit's career goes after he finishes his undergrad degree. Um, interesting that he has not chosen IIT Bombay, but chosen IIT Delhi. Um, again, that's interesting. And I really hope that 
to be able to add value in terms of uh, him developing a career. Uh, hopefully, he has some link to physics uh, and does not totally branch off into computer science. Let's wait and see what happens. Okay, folks, I've come to the end of my discussion for today. So let me know what you thought was interesting in this video. And let me know in the comments below what is it you like, what is it you want more of, and if you have other questions. If you have any topics you want me to talk about next after these series of videos, let me know again in the comment section below. Thanks. Do subscribe to my channel. Connect with you in the next video. Bye-bye.